Welcome to the 2021 Crafty Resolutions Hop. We are a group of crafty YouTube channels working together all year to challenge ourselves to set and reach our 2021 Crafty Resolutions. Each channel that's participating will be linked and listed below. Be sure to check them out. I'm Emily, and you've found Emily's Paper Caper, where we're all about scrapping our stash and getting some pages done. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, hit the subscribe button and bell icon now so you don't miss a thing. For 2021, I have several goals. They're all about specific techniques. The first is to try more mixed media on my pages. For mixed media on my pages, I plan to do some painting using both watercolor and acrylic paints. I also have some embossing paste that I want to use with stencils and on their own. A friend gave me these cool foam rollers for Christmas. I want to use these rolling with ink and maybe try them with paint. Maybe even try putting embossing paste down and then rolling a pattern into the embossing paste. So these are just some examples of the types of mixed media techniques I want to try on my pages this year. I have lots of stash on hand, like paints and embossing paste and stencils and inks. I want to use these more on my pages. So look for lots of mixed media techniques for your scrapbook pages coming up in 2021. The next technique I want to try more of is sewing on my pages. I've always admired sewing on other people's pages, but I've never had the patience to really try it very much. This year, I'm going to spend some more time and try to add some sewing to my layouts. To help me get started sewing on pages more, I've collected my sewing related stencils into this school box. So I got these patterns from Oriental Trading Company a number of years ago. The patterns show you where to punch the holes and then you can sew them. This one is for summer. There's fall, it has Halloween images and acorn and some leaves. Then we have winter and Christmas and spring. So these will be fun. I think I've only used it once for the snowflakes and I've just used a piercer to poke through the template into the paper and I'm looking forward to using these as starter ideas for sewing on my pages. I also have this stencil kit that shows you where to poke the holes to do sew letters, and I think that that will be fun to use. There's a little piercing mat that came with this set. I have a lot of embossing floss around. These are just a few of them to get me started. And I need to throw in some needles. There's some needles. It'll all be in one place. And here's another needle I just noticed. So I'll be ready to start working on that New Year's resolution to sew on my pages. As a card maker and scrapbooker for many years, I've collected so many wonderful rubber stamps, but I don't use them as much as I'd like to. So one of my resolutions is to stamp more on my scrapbook pages. Here's a small sample of the types of stamps in my collection. There were some to create journaling spots. There are acrylic stamps, birthday stamps, pattern background stamps, just a wide variety that I can have fun with using on scrapbook pages. Look for more ideas and examples of stamping on your scrapbook layouts in 2021. I love to doodle and draw. Ever since I was a child, I was always interested in creating art. I want to do more doodling and drawing on my layouts this next year. I have a great collection of pens and markers and colored pencils, and I want to challenge myself to bring this technique of doodling and drawing 
to my scrapbooking hobby. For doodling and drawing on pages, I have this school supply box full of some of my favorite pens and markers. These will be right on hand so I can easily grab them and start doodling and drawing on my pages. If you watched my resolutions videos for 2020, you know I had a huge basket of pocket cards that I tried to use up. I still have so many of them left. So I'm not a pocket scrapbooker, but I've decided why not give it a try? Maybe I'll use more of these pocket cards. Certainly not all my scrapbooking will be limited to pocket pages, but I'm going to challenge myself to give this different type of scrapbook page a chance in 2021. In fact, I'm even joining a YouTube hop focused on pocket pages this next year. Look for more information about that in upcoming videos. I'd love to hear what your goals for 2021 look like. Tell me about them down in the description. Let's support each other throughout the year to really challenge ourselves and meet our crafty goals. Also, don't forget, check out the other channels that are setting their crafty resolutions. Down in the description, you'll find all their links. Happy New Year, and let's keep on scrapping and crafting together.